Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, AKA Vegan Bodega Cat. I'm in Richmond, Virginia, and I'm checking out a place called Ipanema or Ipanema Cafe. I'm from New York City, born and raised. Over the past few years, I've rated and reviewed every bit of vegan food I can get my hands on. But my quest for vegan food was insatiable. And in 2021, I built a camper out of plywood to start my journey eating through every city North America has to offer. If you're a foodie like me, subscribe, ring the bell, and enjoy the ride. We'd love to have you. They've been open since 1998, which is kind of long in like vegan restaurant years. And the food looks really good, so let's head out. Looks like it's in an artsy little neighborhood. This is cute. I think that red umbrella is where it is, over there. You know, sometimes I get an urge to just double check if my car is locked, so we're gonna go back. Okay. Okay, we're good. Let's go back. Once I get the urge, I have to do it. How oh, cool, they do a vegan brunch. This is neat, okay. Wait a minute, this is really cute. This is really cute. How adorable is this seating area? I mean, it's like low key, but it's also very cute. And a little, little weird. Oh, this is a whole ass bar. Oh my goodness. This is not what I expected. What? The amount of times I've been thrown off and surprised on this trip. You know, it's like literally, it's a, it's a whole ass bar in there. I changed into my jacket so we could shoot outside because it's way too dark in there. Hey, okay, so, okay, so. Okay, menu's here and the first thing that like caught my eye is that this is something unique. Like, I've never seen a place label the not vegan stuff. So I thought this place was fully vegan, but I think it's like vegan and vegetarian, right? What do we want? Okay, someone told me that I have to get like some sort of tacos. Tacos, 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 tacos. Tofu patty melt. That sounds good. Caesar wrap, cowboy tacos. Cowboy tacos, is that it? No, buffalo cauliflower tacos. Someone said I had to get the buffalo cauliflower tacos. So I think we're gonna do that. And then, uh, I don't know, I'll think more and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'll tell you, I'll tell, I feel like, I feel like I'm in like a cocoon. I'll tell you what I got, right? Oh, my dad's calling me. Hi, dad. Uh, no, I'm, st I'm, I'm out reviewing a restaurant. Yeah, I'm heading home today though. Okay, so what was I saying? Me and my little cocoon. Okay, so I feel like this jacket looks ridiculous, but it feels like I'm wearing a comforter, so I don't care. Sometimes comfort trumps all. All right, so I got a Caesar salad. I got a tofu patty melt with mac and cheese on the side, and I got the buffalo cauliflower tacos. So I'm very excited, and I'll let you know when it comes out. I'm cold, bro. I'm cold. <laughs> well, I should probably zip this thing up. Maybe. But even though I'm cold, I don't want to shoot inside because it'll be dark and there's music playing. People are out here in like only a hoodie. Did being in Florida for like two days really make me that susceptible to the elements? Okay. Now I'm bundled. <laughs> I look so funny. <laughs> I look like E.T. I look like E.T. right now. Caesar salads here and it's massive. Thank you, I will. It's so big. <laughs> I almost spilled the tofu. Oh, good lord. Let's try this out. Starting with a little salad appetizer. This is so big. Okay, grilled tofu, tomato, carrots, cucumber, Caesar dressing, and croutons. And this one has the option to be gluten free if you want. Oh, those croutons are bomb. Grilled tofu. It's maybe some of the best grilled tofu I've ever had. I know that sounds like super like, like it's just grilled tofu, but there's some sort of like, oh, thank you. Oh, that looks good. Oh, the patty melt looks so good. But there's like a, like a crust on it and it's flavored so well. Mmm, making the cold worth it already. It's a good salad too, but no, the patty melt looks so cute. Okay, wait. How cute is that? And that's the mac and cheese. It comes seasoned with breadcrumbs on it. I have to take pictures. 
Oh wow, wow, wow. The people who suggested the cauliflower tacos were not joking. These look amazing. They look so crispy and sauced so well. And they come with salsa and chips on the side. Here's another look at that tofu patty melt and the mac and cheese. I can't wait to get started on these. All right, one more bite of the tofu salad. The actual Caesar is good. The tofu on it is excellent. Mmm. Okay. I want to try the the melts before it gets not crispy. Okay, already uncrisped a little bit because I was taking photos. House marinated tofu, caramelized shallots, toasted sourdough, sourdough, and cheddar. It also looks like they threw an, um, a tomato on there. So, for people who don't like tomatoes, that's a heads up. But I don't mind, so I don't mind. The bread on that is so good. Mmm. The caramelized onions, again, so good. This might be the same tofu from the salad. This is fantastic. And the bread is still crispy. Amazing. Another good decision for me to come here, and for the people who suggested it, I mean, there was a lot of suggestions. I had to, like, weed through them all. There were so many good places I could have gone to. But... No regrets picking this one. The cheese in the tofu melt is usually from a local place that makes like a an oat cheese. But they currently have a little shortage, so he's not sure what kind of cheese they're using now. And this is a cashew cheese. Cheers, made in-house. I think that's smoked, smoked paprika on top. Look how red my nose is. Okay, first off, the choice in noodle is immaculate. I love these kinds of noodles. Um, as for flavor, it tastes really good. The crispies on top are spectacular. You taste the smoky and the smoked paprika. It's not like cheesy, but it is creamy. So it's a nice creamy side pasta, but not really a mac and cheese, you know? Still good though, depending on what you're craving. This on the other hand, fantastic. Again, in the name of crispiness, Let's go for the tacos because the cauliflower is fried and I want to get that crisp before it gets cold. But look how beautiful these are. These are absolutely gorgeous. I really don't want to stain this jacket, by the way. We got this. I'm going to pick the middle taco because it looks the smallest. Maybe I just won't spill on myself. Oh, let me read you the description. So this is the buffalo cauliflower taco. Breaded and deep fried cauliflower, buffalo sauce, slaw, and avocado crema. Cheers. It looks like a flour tortilla. This is what people recommended I get when I asked them where I should go for food. They said, this cafe and this meal. Good recommendation, guys. The buffalo cauliflower is fully cooked. I hate when the cauliflower isn't cooked all the way. The outside is crispy and spicy. And buffalo eat. I mean, they probably use like Frank's Red Hot or something. The slaw is crispy. I mean, avocado crema is creamy. It's good. It's all well balanced and delicious. The tofu. This is some of the best tofu I've ever had. Amazing tofu in the salad. Amazing tofu in the sandwich. The croutons. So good. The tofu melt. Amazing. The tacos. Delicious. If I had to pick any downsides. Maybe if the Caesar salad was more oomph like maybe if it was like more caesary like more and then maybe if the mac and cheese was a little more creamy but those are like on a scale of one to ten i would put that complaint at like a two out of ten like it's a very like I, i'm like looking for things to pick on you know what i mean if i were to come back this is what i would get the melt and the tacos i mean that would be a lot i would get the oh no i spilled a little oh no my jacket this jacket is not cheap i'm a mess Wait, wait, let's talk prices. So the sandwich with the mac and cheese, $11. That is a great bargain. That's a great price. A good sandwich and a, like a filling side for $11. That's amazing. Caesar salad was 12. Still good. Not as good of a deal as this. And then the tacos were 11. That's an amazing deal. This is a very well priced spot. I give the, the pricing a thumbs up as well. 
that's all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, up on my Instagram right here. My TikTok is also the same. And my travel vlog channel will be down below. It's called Stopping Somewhere. I will see you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, and Susan. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!